So I'm not going to talk about what a gimbal is and what it does and how to set it up. In this video, I'm going to talk about five things I like about this new gimbal from Firetech. This is the Scorp 2 and they've much improved it over the previous generation. Some really, really interesting features about this gimbal that I want to talk about and tell you about because I've really enjoyed using it over the last couple of weeks or so. So the first thing about this gimbal is the controls have been greatly improved over the previous generation. We've got a front touchscreen on the front there for going through the menu and setting it up and changing the different modes and stuff. We've got a nice joystick which is really nice and sensitive. I love the joystick, it works really well. You've got a record button and a mode button because it comes with all the cables that you can actually attach to the camera to control your camera from this uh, gimbal like most gimbals do. We've got some different buttons on the side like A and B points for the time lapses. We've got F1 and F2 which you can customise to what you want it to do. We've got an FPV button on the side here so you can switch it to FPV mode straight away. My favourite thing though is this dial on the front which allows you to control the pan, the tilt or the rotation by changing this little button on the side. You can click it and that changes the rotation. Uh, we press it again and it does the tilt up and down. Press it again and we're on pan left and right and it's really sensitive, a really nice motion on this dial as well for really getting accurate and sort of motion control over this gimbal. That's one of the best things uh, of this, to be honest with you. It's a fantastic feature and I haven't seen that in any other gimbals. I love that. You've got the trigger there for the usual things like double tap to recenter it, triple tap to go to selfie mode. If you want to use this as a selfie camera, you can do. And then triple tap it again to go back around. So yeah, the controls, brilliant, easy to use and much improved over the previous generation. I love that dial, It's that's sick. So the app is pretty impressive as well. There's a lot of things you can do within the application. You download it, the QR code is on the box, or you can just search it up. It's for the Scorp 2. And there's loads of things in here that you can do. We can go to different scenarios where you can do auto rotation and then make the camera sort of rotate in the way you want it to rotate, north or CW1, or you can make it go that way. Um, so you can do some auto-rotation, you can actually program it to do a panorama in 3x3, 180, or you can customise a panorama photo and then take some really wicked uh, panoramic photos with this. You can do a time-lapse, so motion time-lapse, set the time, or motion hyperlapse, static time-lapse, or motion time-lapse and set the time and the framing rate and the intervals between the shots, so that's a really great option as well. And all this is built in and then you've got the track video um, option there as well. You can go into the custom button settings, so you can program all the buttons to do different things. You can disable selfie mode if you're not going to be using it for selfie purposes. Uh, and then you can also go into the knob settings where you can, this knob on the side where you can just control the pan, the roll and the tilt is fantastic. And you can control the speed, the smoothness and the damping on here and you can turn the sound on and off so that's a great option as well the motor power you can actually auto tune the um, motors so when you've got the camera and everything set up you can press auto tune and it does this weird thing where it jiggles the motors to make sure everything's in the right sort of um, power mode and it does that for you that's what i've done a couple of times and it makes everything perfect then it adjusts the motor power um, and automatically for you it's a great option so you know everything's working perfectly so just takes a couple of minutes it's doing so it's done so we're done uh with this one and then you can change the follow speed slow medium fast or you can customize it uh camera settings obviously when you've got the camera plugged in with all the cables that come in the box like so for all the different cameras then you can actually go into the camera settings and change it from here so yeah a bunch of options tells you device battery health as well you can uh, click auto connect so yeah the app is great it's really good for especially doing motion time lapse panoramic photos doing the tracking tuning the gimbal up to how you want it um uh, customizing all the buttons as well which is great so yeah it's a great option uh, the next thing i do like about the new scorp the scorp 2 is the new screen on here the old version didn't have a screen but this screen is i mean it's not massive but it's on there and it's very sensitive you can change all the settings within here you don't have to go into the app now to change settings you can do it all on the control here so you got this little screen built into the handle and that comes in very useful for adjusting it for calibrating it for doing all the different tracking modes and changing the settings and customizing the buttons as well um, so yeah really good also I love these two little legs that pop down these sort of fold in 
to the handle like that so they act as like a little tripod when you haven't got a normal tripod to use you can use those little legs just to settle it down so yeah that's a nice little feature as well it does have like a quarter inch in here as well so you can add different accessories if you want to build out you have monitors and microphones and stuff you can do that as well so yeah overall the controls and everything the new screen the whole build quality of this thing is really incredible so you've got the normal mode you've got the uh, pan mode you've got the tilt up and down uh, you've got the rotate which all rotates left and right for that sort of fpv sort of look you've got the tilt up and down as well with this knob it's very very good um and you know everything about this gimbal even with this big camera on i've got my 35 millimeter f 1.4 sigma on here nd filter microphone canon r6 no problem at all copes with it absolutely fine you can even like drop it down for like a suitcase briefcase mode whichever way you want to call it works perfectly and rotate it back around you can also add a different pole onto the top of it you've got a quarter inch on the bottom so you can add a big pole for really like low down shots down here just works really well i'm very impressed the motors are extremely powerful and um, yeah everything about this so far has been very very impressive the new feature in the scorp 2 is the ai tracking it has the tracking sensor built into the actual arm of the gimbal so it's not like a magnetic feature it's not an accessory you have to buy built into the gimbal comes with it and it's you know it's a fantastic feature especially as a solo filmer as a solo creator who films a lot of stuff on their own 99 percent of the time then this comes in uh, just clutch it's a fantastic feature it really is and you know you can do things like this i can just walk around and it tracks me left and right really well um, works very well you can actually stop and start recording as well i think with this because you've got the camera controls plugged into the actual gimbal so you can control it from the app you can control it from the uh, gimbal itself but just having that tracking is fantastic so i've had this for about a month and i wanted to finish off this video by talking about the build quality and the user experience of you know, using this gimbal now I've never was really like a gimbal fan in all honesty, but after using this now for a while, I really like the design of this particular gimbal. The RS DJI version, it only had this one grip where it's sort of, it was kind of hard to control. And if you're holding it in this position with your hand, um, it sort of got very tiring and I got quite fatigued by using it like that all the time. Because you've got this second handle here, the the Scorp handle, if you like, the um, extra sort of briefcase handle, then this just makes it a lot easier to control. You've got two points of contact. I know you can buy other sort of accessories for the RS gimbal from DJI, but this is built in, comes like this, and I've just really enjoyed using this gimbal like that. So that, that the you know, using this gimbal is a lot easier for me personally uh, over the last month or so um yeah it's it's light it's foldable the build quality is excellent i've had no issues with balancing it you know gimbals are gimbals you have to balance them but it, this is really easy to set up comes with all the instructions the box you get everything like the cables to connect to your cameras you actually get a lens um if you're using like a longer lens you get this sort of mount that you can put onto the gimbal for extra stability as well so yeah, I've been super impressed with this. Um, it's something that I'm going to actually use. Like other gimbals I've used in the past, I've just got fed up with them after a few weeks. It's become more of a hassle to get it out of my camera to use it than it would be a joy to use. Now this, you know, this has actually been a real joy to use. I really like it. So that is the Scorp 2. Um, thanks to uh, Firetech for sending it to me for review. But this is like honest review. They don't get to see this video before I publish it. So really appreciate it. And if you want to purchase one, there is an affiliate link in the description down below. You don't have to buy for that link. I'll leave up links and hopefully discount codes for you if you do want to grab one. So yeah, that's it, the Scorp 2. It's a great gimbal. Fantastic, fantastic option. Okay, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Make sure you do subscribe, press the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. I appreciate every single one of you. Give this video a like as well. It really does help. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.